Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Low clouds hung tough today as I thought they might. And yeah, that kept temperatures down, mostly upper 50s around the peninsula. We did get a 71 in Santa Cruz, a little downsloping north wind, but only 60s up in the Santa Cruz mountains and low to mid 60s for all the valleys. So overall a cooler day, especially inland. And there were the low clouds and you can see they were uh, there pretty much all day long. Santa Cruz had sunshine most of the day and Watsonville and then up into the Santa Cruz mountains. The low clouds came back in pretty quickly here this afternoon and this evening and they're certainly there right now. Uh, there's one other thing kind of happening right now and you can see we've got showers and thunderstorms. Little area low pressure moving down basically right over the Central Valley. Luckily, most of these are coming with rainfall, so no fire starts as of yet. We're, of course, keeping a close eye on that. And most of this energy will work off to the east, so we probably won't get in on any of it. But you can see it is sliding southward. You can see all the lightning strikes there, so there are thunderstorms certainly uh, with this. And that makes sense this time of year. We have a warmer atmosphere. It's springtime. We get the heating of the day. Central Valley warms up, and you get that circulation rising air, and you get the development again of those cumulus clouds, which turn into thunderstorms at times. And here's the track of it. You can see it's going to wind down. You notice that counterclockwise circulation. Most of the energy will go into the Sierra. They might get a little high elevation snow and a little lower elevation rain out of that, and that's good. Uh, thunderstorms overall, when they come with rain, are just fine for us. We don't have to worry about fire starts. And then back to wintertime, St. Louis, Chicago had a little snow heading past uh, Indianapolis right now. Cleveland, Flint, Detroit, Buffalo going to get about three to five inches. So winter not quite done yet. And this front will continue to march eastward upstate New York, New England with another round of snow in the next 48 hours. For us, that one system goes into the Sierra. You can see a little bit of rain over the Sierra tomorrow. For us, it'll be high and dry other than the low clouds, a little mist, a little drizzle. And high pressure will stay with us for a little bit. And then the front, we've been talking about this for weeks now, this development of a wetter pattern, hopefully for the West Coast. And it looks to come in at about Saturday afternoon, at least points north of us, right? And then we're going to watch for that rain line to slowly fit, come in south. Some snow for the Sierra. They could actually get a decent amount on this. We're going to uh, kind of hone in on the whole thing in the next couple of days. Uh, but the chances are increasing that we will get some rain. It is not, let me repeat this, it is not going to change where we are in the drought no matter what happens. Even if we get two inches, that's not going to change anything for our entire season. That will help locally for fire season, maybe push that back a month or so. And of course, nice to wet everything down. But a couple of inches does not make up anywhere near the deficit we would need to to change our drought classification for this year. Mist drizzle possibility out of the low clouds later tonight. Then we see that partial burn off again tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Coast may stick with low clouds for the better part of the day, and it's going to be cool. 40s and 50s overnight. Again, the patchy mist and drizzle. Low clouds are going to push all the way inland. Mid 50s to upper 60s tomorrow at the coast with an afternoon clearing, but again, that may linger the low clouds on some of the beaches. 60s to around 70 for the valleys. Plenty of sunshine to work with there after morning low clouds and seasonable temperatures. Here are your afternoon highs for tomorrow. 68 Santa Cruz, 65 Ben Lomond, about 68 in San Jose, and barely a 70 to be found outside of King City, 67 in Soledad, low 60s, Salinas, middle 60s, Watsonville, low 60s around Monterey, probably upper 50s around Carmel and Pebble Beach. Here we go into the weekend. You'll notice it is a little warmer, probably Thursday, Friday, and then temperatures drop off very quickly on Sunday. Highs mostly in the 50s to low 60s. It's a cold system coming down from Alaska. Chance of rain on Sunday and Sunday night. The timing is tricky right now. Could be as early as Saturday night or Sunday morning. Could be as late as Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. We'll work on all of that as we get a little closer. But uh, boy, my fingers are crossed to get some yeah. rain around here and uh, put some more in the reservoirs, get a little more snow in the Sierra, and that's a good thing this time of year. Is it still, there's still a possibility it could skirt us to the north, though, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, but it well. does, most of the models are kind of converging on at least some wet weather for us. Fingers How much? crossed. That's the question. All right. Take a look at our weather quiz. Something that's coming up, uh, the Pacific hurricane season starts earlier than the Atlantic hurricane season. Does that make sense? I'm not sure with the past year, I don't even know where we are anymore. Um, well, Atlantic starts in what, August or September? Uh, yes. Yeah, the Pacific actually starts earlier. They start May 15th, 
and we start June 1st in the Atlantic. Of course, we could have a storm anytime. June we, in the Atlantic. Wow. Yeah, June 1st. And they're actually talking about maybe expanding that and starting a little earlier because we have had storms earlier than that. And then it gets kind of weird because we're not technically in hurricane season, right. but we get one, which Mother Nature doesn't care what we call yeah, it, right? Sure. She just spins things up. So warmer oceans lead to more of these types right. of storms because they really fuel on the Coming on the warmer, off the equator, yeah. Yeah, the warmer water temperatures. Okay. Thanks, Lee. Yep.